Amen. 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 Praise be to Jesus. My name is Pastor John Gaho of Blessings Revival Center Church, Kigumo Kiambu in the country of Kenya. And today I want to talk to that parent. And I want to tell you, as a parent, every word you say to your kid has power. Another day, I had a parent uh, telling his child that he is a child with no brains. And he called that child some names. And these has triggered me to give this message to you. I want to tell you as a parent that every word that you call your child has a lot of power. If, for example, you call your child a pauper, poor, person with a poor brain, most likely that child might end up being poor because you prophesied about the child. If you tell the child that he doesn't think, he doesn't use his brains well, her brains well, the child might end up not using the brains well because you actually confirmed to the child. It is your work as a parent to ensure that every word that you call your child is a positive word. Anything that you talk to your child, let it be something that is positive. Remember, God has made you a parent to that kid so that you can mold that person to become the best person ever in this world. So if you keep on pumping negative information, negative words into the minds of this child, most likely you're bringing up a child who will end up or will end up being a useless being. So it is your work as a parent. Even if that child is not a performer in school, it's not a must, not everybody become a professor. Not everybody will become a doctor. Not everybody will become a lawyer. It is not a must that the child become the best in school. God has gifted everybody with something unique. Maybe that child has not been gifted with education, with passing in school. Maybe he's going to be a person who is able differently. And then you as a parent, you end up telling negative things, negative words, saying negative words to the child. You are actually killing the vision in that person, the vision bestowed, the life bestowed under that child. My friend and my, my, my fellow parents, I call you to start speaking positive words to your child. Stop speaking negative words to your child. You owe a lot to God pertaining that child of yours. You have answers to give to God on how you bring up that child. Any information, let it be positive from today. I know it might be negative to your child, but I believe that from now onwards you're going to change and you're going to mold that child to become the best person ever. The best intended person by Jehovah. May God bless you as you go to 2022. And as you prepare to get into 2022. And the years ahead. May God help you to start speaking positive words unto your child. Your child is a very good gift for you. And because he's given to you positively by God, treat him or her in a positive way. Tell him positive words. Tell him, my son, you are the best. Even if he has failed in whatever assignment that you had given him, Tell him, my son, my daughter, you are the best. You've made it. Tell him, I know from now you'll make it better than the way you've done today. Tell him tomorrow 
is there for you. And I know tomorrow you'll do it better. Even if he failed in exams, don't demoralize the child. Tell the child you'll do better. Be positive to that child. God bless you. God do you wonders. God be with you. My name again is Pastor John Gao. If you want to reach me, my number is down there. Call me. We shall talk. We shall converse. And I shall help you. God bless you. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.